what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got some news last week a lot of exciting news regarding the upcoming child's play tv series that we know is coming to now the sci-fi network along with the usa network uh it's supposed to premiere sometime in 2021 i'm uh, just going to jump right into it basically during the comic-con panels this weekend don mancini who has been responsible for the last several chucky movies that we've gotten from the original continuity he revealed the he revealed an answer to one of the, one of the concerns a lot of fans had regarding the upcoming TV series because what Chucky is synonymous for is with that hard R rating. We're us as fans of the of the uh, pint size killer and this whole entire franchise. That's kind of just uh, it's become ridiculous at this point, but it's kind of just fun to still watch. Uh, hopefully they get back to the series route. I have hope that this TV series will be very resembling of the original movie or at least the first two movies anyway. Uh, and Curse of Chucky. I take those three movies the most serious. The other movies, I kind of take them as just jokes, honestly. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying, one of the things that us as fans of the genre and this character have become to know and expect from this killer is his vulgar language. Chucky always likes to drop F-bombs. He's always just very foul mouth when he's killing someone or after he's killing someone or slightly before killing someone just to have in these little one-liners similar to how freddy krueger became a little comical as the series as the nightmare on elm street movies progressed that started happening with chucky he started having these one-liners and his his mouth just became very vulgar as the movies progressed uh one particular word of course is the f-bomb we love to hear chucky say uh f this f that i can't think of an effing thing to say uh so a lot of people were concerned that we wouldn't get to hear these f-bombs in the tv series but no 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 apparently we will because don mancini revealed during the comic-con panel he had this to, he had this to say about chucky's foul mouth he, he explained the following when nick and i set up chucky at sci-fi one of the first things we had to make sure of was that chucky could drop his f-bombs because it's such an intris intrinsic part of his character it would just seem wrong if he couldn't Fortunately, before we signed on the dotted line, they confirmed, yes, he can. I think he can drop like eight F-bombs per episode or something like that, eight to ten, something like that. And I think there's variations depending on what time it airs. So that already lets me know Chucky's foul mouth behavior will be downplayed, but not as much as everyone is expecting. Because another thing to keep in mind is that when we're looking at these, these child's play, these Chucky movies, keep in mind that they're movies, they're movies. Watching the TV series, we don't we don't need to hear Chucky saying an F word or something like that every episode or some or so. He can honestly I would treat the F bombs, save them for important moments, save them for important moments. And I think that's what we're gonna end up getting in this TV series. Keep in mind, the child's play stuff and everything we know about Chucky has just been from film. We're about to head into TV series territory. Chucky doesn't need to walk around dropping F bombs all the time. The dialogue, then you're you're binging over into Rob Zombie territory with your dialogue at that point where we have just everybody is a foul mouth uh, piece of trash or something like that. That's how Rob Zombie depicts almost all of his characters in his movies. They're foul mouth pieces of trash. Uh, and I don't we don't need that from Chucky. We get what we get from Chucky in the movies because we not we're not spending as much time with that character. We're going to get to spend a lot more time with Charles Lee Ray. We're going to get to spend a lot more time, hopefully, with Tiffany, with Andy with kyle who jennifer tilly alex vincent uh elise jennifer elise i believe her name is jennifer tilly um i for, I, I always forget the the, the the woman who plays kyle's name i always forget her name and then we have alex vincent they're all expected to be a part of this franchise or this tv series and of course uh brad dorf's daughter fiona dorf she's expected to be back as nika one thing that really stuck out to me that I, I don't see too many people talking about, maybe it's just me, I'm late to the party, is how while I was disappointed that Chucky finally got a body, spoilers if you haven't seen Cult of Chucky, I was disappointed in the fact that he went into Nika's body instead of Andy's. It felt like something, you had this opportunity to do something that's been that's been a dream of Chucky since the very beginning, and we don't go into Andy's body, we go into a woman. But then watching it again, having some respect for some type of parallels there with it we're getting to see fiona dorf portray her father we're getting to see a daughter uh mirror her father's acting abilities or mirror mirror a character that her father has been synonymous for and bring that to life in her own in her own way because she's at the end of cult of chucky she is charles lee ray charles lee ray has a has abducted nika's body fiona dorf plays 
uh, Nika. Nika is now getting to emulate her father, who is Brad Dorf, who also happens to be Chucky in the film series. So I just like that kind of parallel there now. Still disappointed that he went into Nika's body, but I have newfound respect for the fact that a daughter is getting to emulate a character that her father is synonymous for. So that's pretty cool. But getting back into the TV series and these f bombs, uh, a lot of basic cable cable shows they don't they don't typically allow those type of things. So hearing that Chucky will be able to drop eight to ten f bombs per episode, that's really exciting. I'm hoping that's actually not the case though, because like I said before, we don't need to have foul mouth Chucky 24 seven. Sure, when he's around, drop a couple f bombs here and there. Sure, if that's what they're meaning, but drowning it down in nothing but foul language I, we don't need that you're bridging into rob zombie territory i don't see them doing that i'm i'm positive they're not going to be allowed to do that because again we're on network television now most of the language that we hear from chucky that'll be saved for the feature films honestly these eight to ten f-bombs they're going to probably place them in some some of the most important moments of of these episodes they won't just be wasted f-bombs uh because i feel like in the film series honestly the F-bombs, they're just there because, okay, we need Chucky to say some F-bombs. But treat the F-bombs as something special now. Treat them as something special. Have them be dropped at crucial moments in these episodes since we're finding out that he can use 8 to 10 per episode. Let them use them in a, in a more important manner when something is at high stakes. Something actually matters. Not just him cursing because he can't help himself. That's what I want to see. Uh, another thing that came out last week is we found out officially that Brad Dorf would be back to voice Chucky. This was already much assumed by the masses and everyone already expected this, but now he's officially been announced as signing on board. Same way how we all expect Nev Campbell to come back, Courtney Cox to come back, but the only one who's been announced is David Arquette to return as Dewey. We're still waiting to hear official announcements, but not hearing official announcements doesn't mean that these people aren't involved. It just means it hasn't been brought officially out to the public. So while Brad Dorf now is the only one officially on board, we already expected that he's back to voice the role of Chucky. He's back to deliver all these one-liners that we all know and love from him, hopefully. Back to be the little foul mouth killer that we all have come to appreciate. Some of us grew up terrified by over the course of our childhood and our early adulthood. Um, anyway, so what's, what's also interesting about this is, again, with the TV series being being shown with what does not go into the TV series route, we're, we're again going to get to spend a lot more times with this character. We already know we're going to dive a little bit into the childhood of, of Charles Lee Ray because it sounds like the hometown that this this town that we're going to be traveling to where a vintage Chucky doll arrives and then chaos ensues. We're going to be finding out that this this town is going to end up being Charles Lee Ray's hometown, which is what everyone's been speculating from the start. Why would he just get sent to this random town? Of course, there's going to be some type of connection between him and this town. This town would lead to us finding out some things about Charles Lee Ray. Probably going to get a better understanding of why he turned to the life of crime, why he ended up the way that he did end up. Probably adding a little bit of sympathetic nature to the character. Not necessarily for you to say he's justified in what he's doing, but understand why someone... Like I've said this before many times, and this is how I just feel personally about all criminal situations. We may not feel that they are justified in their actions, but what's also important to understand about criminals is understanding why they did what they did. Yes, what they did is wrong, but if we do not take the time to understand how someone ended up in this life, this horrible lifestyle that they're living, where they're now ruined not only their life, but the lives of others, especially if you're a killer, it's important to take time to understand what led them there so that we can correct that and not necessarily be there to condone their actions but be there to guide them down a path of redemption if there even is a chance that they can come out on the other side and do something with their life and be a successful member of society the idea of cancel culture i'm behind the idea of canceling toxic habits i'm not toxic habits toxic attitudes toxic uh characterizations toxic attitudes behaviors that many of us possess i'm all for that if we find out something like that and you want to cancel stuff like that go go for it. but canceling the people as a whole i'm not for that i'm all about learning growing moving forward canceling out a person for their actions if that's something that's okay with you that's fine it's, that's not okay with me i'm all about learning and understanding why someone did such a heinous crime condemning them for those crimes and then saying hey you know what you did this if you can find it in your heart to say hey you know what you did this but at the end of the day you're still a you're, you're still a person and now that i understand why you did it i'm not i'm not agreeing with what you did but i can understand now why you did what you did 
you can see that because you don't like i said before you don't just end up going out and being what charles lee raised you don't just end up being a serial strangler strangler i can't wait to see what actually happened to this person as a child was he bullied was he was there something about him that stuck out in the uh in the franchise or in his hometown that a lot of people didn't like so i can't wait to see all of that and find out how this relates to where he ended up in life i hope that's what the series is going to do of course we get to spend more time with andy kyle uh tiffany see what she's been up to hopefully get to see glenn and glinda but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video